Welcome to HTML in 100 seconds, where today we're diving into the world of HTML, the skeleton of the web. Let's light this up. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It was created by Tim Berners-Lee, and HTML is the standard language for building the bones of web pages. Side note, Sir Tim Berners-Lee, yes, he's a knight, invented the World Wide Web while working at CERN. You know, the Large Hadron Collider where they discovered the God Particle. It all starts with tags. Think of them like the bricks of web pages. From headings to paragraphs, each tag serves a purpose. Tags typically have an opening tag and a closing tag, but sometimes they're self-closing. The opening tag can also have attributes, which can be used for some very cool functionality. Here's a useful hack. You can use your web browser to view the HTML of any website by right-clicking and selecting View Page Source, or just use the keyboard shortcut of Control U if you're on Windows, but if if you're on a Mac, then the shortcut is Option Command U. Every HTML journey begins with a doc type, signaling the birth of an HTML5 document, which is the version we're using today. Dive into the head for metadata, then jump into the body for the meaty content that users see. HTML5 spice things up with semantic tags like the header, nav, footer, article, and others. It's like having a very well organized closet. Need user input? Well, we have the form tag, we have input, text area, and the button tag to the rescue. And let's not forget about multimedia. We also have image, audio, and video. Yeah, view page source after this video to see the HTML. Hyperlinks are the web superhighways. The A tag or the anchor tag is your ticket to anywhere. Then we have style, ID, and class are just some of the global attributes which are the Swiss army knife in your HTML toolkit. And hey, let's keep the web accessible for everyone. Proper HTML ensures that. If you want to create a button, use the semantic tag like button instead of div. Also make sure to use the alt attribute for alternative text for an image. When HTML meets CSS and JavaScript, it's like the Avengers assembling. And browsers are the stage where HTML performs, transforming code into visual magic. With W3C standards, SEO love, and mobile responsiveness when used with CSS, HTML is the unsung hero of the web. So where do you code HTML? Tools like Visual Studio Code make coding in HTML a breeze. The Atom Text Editor, how I miss you so. And the best part, HTML is always evolving, adapting to the ever-changing web landscape. But well, that's HTML in 100 seconds. Subscribe for more and ignite your coding journey. I'll see you in the next one.